we're doing makeup today. It's like 7.30 at night. Oh well. I'm just going to take off the bit of makeup that I have on my face. It's basically just highlight, some pomade in my brows, and a little bit of eyeshadow. And that's it. And this is just to kind of clean my face. So I was just out, I spent a little bit of money on some new makeup, I went to Walmart because that's where I get most of my makeup. I have all of the new makeup, um, yeah, some of it's old, some of it's new, um, but first thing first that isn't new for me is the e.l.f. Moisture Lock primer so I'm just going to okay sorry if the angle's different my uh, alarm went off on my phone so I'm just gonna put my hair back with some nice cat ears um yeah uh, elf moisture lock primer it's just a primer, so yeah, I don't know. Does it do anything? I have no clue, but I use it. Um, I think that like with foundation, it's always good to have a tacky base for it, which is why primer is a thing. Which you could also probably use just a moisturizer, but I don't I haven't found a moisturizer that I like because I have pretty oily skin. So I just use this. Okay, one of the uh, two new things I got is this e.l.f. Kabuki brush and the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte um, Foundation. And this is in the shade 101.5 Ivory Buff. So, yeah. I would be using a beauty blender, but I kind of want to see how it applies with the brush because I've been doing concealer with a brush recently and I've been really liking it. So I kind of want to see what it is with a brush. So I just got a kabuki brush because it's like nice and dense and it's kind of meant for this kind of thing. So yeah, I haven't used foundation in a while. The old foundation that I used is um, the Maybelline Fit Me Man Poreless. This shade's actually like too pink for me, so I wanna see how this compares. It looks lighter, cause that's like a like a shade too dark and like a bit too pink, so. My hands are slippery from the primer. Jesus. There isn't tape on it or anything. 
It's just, oh, it's a twist off one. It's a twist off. Uh, it's sealed, obviously. I've heard good reviews about this. I didn't want to get the Pro Glow because I have oily skin and I didn't want that to affect it. Ooh. It's a bit of separation there. Don't know if this will be my shade. I'm just going to take the back of a brush and mix it because it kind of separated from the bottle. Let's see how this works. Hmm. I don't think this is my shade. It looks a little yellow. I'm not sure about this kabuki brush. Because it's a little flimsy. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can make it work. Um... That was a bit more solid. Oh, it's runny. It's runny. Just... Uh, it's kind of oxidizing and it's looking a little better. Okay, I... Let's put this off on. It's oxidizing and it's looking a little better. So it was ah. I just got that like right in my eye I'm fine Good, I can still see. This is like a medium coverage foundation, and I would say I agree with that. I'm not sure about this brush. It's not really doing exactly what I want. I might use the brush that I've been using for my concealer, which is this brush. It's like a bit denser. It is smaller, but I find that you can like get into areas better. I have it there. So it's not looking horrible. It definitely oxidizes. I've never put like foundation on with a brush. I don't really wear foundation that often. So I can't really give the best review. Do I look crazy? I have no idea. Looks a little 
yellow, to be honest. Like, a lot yellow. I'm just gonna put it down my neck. Yeah, that's like way too yellow. I think this is like a shade too dark and a bit too yellow. Which like, it doesn't look like that here. It looks like it was a pretty good match in the bottle, but. I don't know how I feel about applying foundation with a brush, to be honest. This is so yellow. This is very yellow. I feel like you can even tell on camera how yellow this is. This is really yellow. Like, it's getting darker as I'm wearing it. Oh my god, this is so yellow. Oh. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. take it off because I just don't want I don't know. I'm gonna take it off because this is just looking horrible. Horrible. Like the foundation looks fine. It's just the wrong color and I feel like you I ripped it. I feel like you can't tell on camera. But you can definitely tell in real life. I think I got most of it. That is definitely the wrong color. I am way paler than that. I'm pretty pale. It's the winter time, okay? I feel like this would be a good, like, summery shade. My skin is like, oh, you've wiped me too much now. I know. Okay, well, I'm just going to move on to what I would do for concealer. Recently, I've been color correcting under my eyes. So I've been actually using a lip crayon for this. This is Burt's Bees lip crayon in the shade Sedona Sands. So I've just been putting that underneath my eye. Now the reason that you use kind of a peachy tone is because I have like dark under circles and usually on like dark circles are more like purple or blue based and the peach um, counteracts that. So yeah, and I found that my concealer, I love my concealer, but it just like wasn't like hiding as much of the dark circles as I would want and I like actually using the lip crown because it blends out actually pretty nice like I like how it blends I like how this color is my eyes a little red from when I got the foundation in it but it's not that bad So yeah, I just kind of blend that with brush. You can't really see all too well, but you can kind of. Okay, so that's that. I just kind of like blend it out a bit. Yeah. Um. Next, 
uh, is nothing new, which is my concealer. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear uh, from More Than Concealer Foundation in Fawn. So, this is like great concealer. It hides all of my mistakes. I like doing one eye at a time just because I find that blends out better. Same brush. This is. I just got these brushes off of Amazon. They work pretty good. I have no idea what this brush is supposed to be for, but I use it to blend out my stuff. I used to use my beauty blender, but I find that this stuff looks better. Like the brush and stuff. I find that it's easier to apply, faster to blend, and like makes it, I don't know, better, I guess. I'm just gonna take that and wipe it across my lid. So, yeah, this is like a really nice concealer. I like this concealer. It's the same one that I used back in March, like the same bottle. When I did my first, like, um, makeup video. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Yeah, I like working in, like, sections and stuff. So. This you see there's really good. It's, like, not super duper high coverage it's like medium coverage is what I'm saying which I'm fine with I don't need a super high coverage concealer you know it does a good job and that's all I need from it okay so I've done my under eyes and my eyelids and now I kind of take the excess product and I put it over my nose. I don't like having like my f nose like fully done. See, I find that this concealer is actually like a pretty good match to my skin, which I don't mind. Because I kind of use it like a, a bit of a foundation anyways. So now I'm going to kind of spot conceal. I'm going to start under here because I have a new zit friend right there. Thank you, Mr. Zit, for popping up today. I just like how this product applies with the brush. I like it a lot better than the BB Blender is what I'm trying to say. If you guys see any darkness on my lip, like around here, that's my mustache, so it's not the makeup, it's just me. As I said, I have pretty oily skin, so a lot of the products that I use are like matte. I do have a few stuff that's luminous, but I have a lot of stuff I use is matte. I am getting a bit of a lighter concealer. I'm getting one of the ColourPop concealers and I'm getting a lighter concealer just because I want to see if I can do a little bit more lightness under the eyes. Now I have a lot of peachiness around my mouth. So I'm just trying to cover that up. I have like a fair bit of acne. I, I don't have like the worst skin in the world, but I don't have the best skin in the world. So. Just going to dot that because I have acne there. I sleep on this side of my face, so I get the most acne there. I have a brush here on my face. <gasps> or just a hair. I think it's gone now. Okay. 
As you can see, it covered up my scab from where I picked my zit pretty nicely. And I'm going to do a bit of the same because I do have some acne on this side and I just like making it equal on either side so it doesn't look different. Again, because I don't have foundation on. I do have foundation, but I don't have it on because that color was bleh. I just really like how this brush applies everything. It really smooths it out really, really well. And I don't know, it's just nice. It's just nice. I'm just doing my makeup. And it's kind of, sort of, first impressions, not really. I'm just having fun. Um, yeah. So that's how the makeup's going. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about that pertains to makeup. So, I'm doing drag later this year uh, and I am basically just practicing makeup all the time because of it um, so what I'm doing is a bit of a practice for drag makeup not really I want to see how the makeup takes me this evening so um, so my drag character is a bit different than what you would expect because I personally identify as agender so my character is a bit more female like she is female um so I know that a lot of people might be mad about how I am a biological female and my drag character is female but Drag is an art form, it's supposed to be fun, not supposed to have like rules or anything, you know? You know? So I don't know, I just feel like that's the character that I that just spoke to me and that's what I'm doing. So the character's name is Jelly Fish. Fish is spelled F-I-S. C H, so it has the C in there. Um, and basically, I'm writing an entire story on her and her friends and stuff like that. It's set in like an alternate universe, kind of, where like climate change happened early and like North America is basically just a giant desert wasteland. You know, that all that fun stuff. And that's kind of the theme for the character, you know? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's concealer. This is something new that I haven't tried before. This is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. They don't have translucent, but I got fair. Ooh. sticker. Oh, there's the peel thing. It's a transparent sticker, so. I got the shade there. Oh, God. And I'm wearing a black top and black pants. Shade Fair, because I'm pale and I kind of want to use it as brightening. They don't have translucent, which is what I would 
which is what I would usually go for. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's a powder. I'm just gonna use it under under my eyes. Let's see how this goes. I haven't used this before, so first impressions. So far, so good. I like to kind of pack it in with the brush. Yeah, so drag character, right, I was talking about that. Um, yeah, that's kind of my theme for the character. Basically, her entire wardrobe is like purple, blue, pink, magenta, like jellyfish colors, obviously. Um, yeah, and that is what I am doing. Oh my god. I'm just gonna put it around places that I crease. Just up here. And smile ones. And the nose. Lightly on the nose. Not a lot on the nose. Okay. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just and whisk any like loose stuff away. to see how my other products go on top of it. Okay. Um, yeah. Next is eyeshadow, which I'm not... These pants are so going in the wash. Which I'm not quite sure what I want to do because I have four palettes now because I bought two new ones. I bought... This is the Rimmel London magnifies electric violet edition um, which is eye contouring palette so it looks like this some nice purples a little teal in there yeah and then I also got the hard candy smoke out um, palette which this <laughs> It's kind of like weed based, like marijuana. Like the the shade names are blazed, hazed, hash, toke, light up, trippin', blitz, smokin', kush, grass, baked, blunt, stoned, puff, and burnt. Which is some of the reasons why I bought it, but also because like, do you see that? That is beautiful. So I don't know quite what I'm gonna do. I might makes a few of the palettes. I also have the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette and I have also the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset Palette which is his, like an oldie buddy goodie. So I kind of want to first prime my eyes which I use concealer for that. Uh, I used to use the e.l.f. eye primer, but I just found that it didn't hold the shadows as well as I would like it to. 
So I started using um, concealer and I've been liking it a lot better. It's been holding the shadows a lot better. That's all I really have to say on the matter. Nothing against e.l.f. I think they're a great brand with some great affordable products. So, um, yeah, it's always good to prime your eyelids, whether with an eye primer or a concealer or whatever, just because um, it helps the shadows like stick and like have like a base for them to stick to. Some people like putting powder over it. I sometimes do that if I want like a more kind of like wash of a color rather than like boom, there's color on. But right now I kind of am not going to set it, so it's a bit sticky. So yeah, I think I kind of just want to touch them right now. So this is the um, Violet Electric Violet Rimmel London palette. I get oh, and there we go. It comes with this this brush, which actually feels pretty soft, and then the eyeshadow applicator, which like nobody uses, so I don't even know why they include it in there anymore. Which I really want to touch this shade. Um, it doesn't really have a color. Like, it doesn't have shade names, which is sad, but I'm just gonna... Soft, okay. Okay, it's soft. Let's see. Okay. Okay, not bad. I want to touch the one beside it, which is a bit of like a darker, more smoky one. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not like anything revolutionary, but it's like pretty good. It'll be better on base. So I'm gonna, I really, this has the pop thing that a lot of, by the way, this is infused with hemp oil. It does not have CBD or THC in it, as it says on the back. If you guys know me, I have CBD, I use CBD. I have permission from my doctor to use it. I have chronic pain and it helps me a lot with that. But I just found this like super funny because I know that Melt Cosmetics has the Smoke Sessions palette which kind of has like a similar theme basically. It's weed themed which I just find hilarious. Oh my god. Can you please open? Oh there's tape on the sides. Jesus Christ. How much tape do you need? I was like trying to get into it, so you know, there's like four pieces of tape on it. There we go. There we go, finally. Ooh. Not that. And this comes with two brushes. Well, one, yeah, two brushes and two applicators. I'll show you in a minute. So in the bottom of the palette, there's a double-ended applicator, which I think these just look like the same size, so again, I'm not going to use it. And then it comes with a double-ended brush. This one doesn't feel as soft as the Rimmel one, but it's still not bad. They are, like, this is a bit bigger, and it does have, like, a small, like, pencil brush. So, I really, really want to touch this emerald green. The packaging, by the way, like 10 out of 10. I love this like green, like foiled metallic shit, but I really want to touch it because it literally, ooh, it's wet, kind of, question mark, wet, question mark. Like that's how it looks on the finger. Okay. So it's literally like glitter in gel. There's another 
one, it's like a goldy, like a deep gold one. I mean, it reacts the same. It's honestly really cool. I haven't worked with glitter like that before, so this should be fun. But I feel like I'm just going to have glitter all over my body now. Yep. So if you work with this, expect having glitter all over your body. It says that it is... Oh, this one's cruelty free. Huh. So, hard candy's cruelty free. I did not know that. I don't know if Rimmel London is. Does not say. But hard candy is. Hard candy's like a really inexpensive, cheap, like, really inexpensive um, brand. But And they actually put out some, like, pretty good products. Add a playful pop of sparkle to your everyday makeup with these glitter shades. Yeah, it is literally just glitter. Okay, um, I want to start off with maybe this kind of like deep brown and I'm going to take just a little bit of a brush. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. This is just, I don't know what brand it is. It's somewhere I, it's in with my brushes. So I'm gonna take that like deep, kind of smoky green that's in the bottom corner. I haven't tried Hard Candy shadows before, so I don't know what they're like. It doesn't look like there's a lot of, I just drool at myself. It doesn't look like there's really a lot of fallout at all, which is nice. Okay, oh, oh shit, okay. It actually looks pretty decent. Actually, I'm surprised. Yeah, that looks relatively nice. Um, so if you guys have any questions on like drag and shit, it seems like with this shadow, sorry I'm like skipping, but it seems like where you press it in and you get the most pigment and then where you kind of like f fluff it out, there's less pigment. I'm just going to take a smaller, ooh this still has red on orange on it from when I did Jalen's makeup. I do not want that. Still, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the good thing about eyeshadow is that it's a powder so it doesn't like dry so you don't really have like a set time for when you have to like wait for it to dry or whatever. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Sorry, this is I think like cheese dust and flaming hot from the Jeffree Star palette and it's like fucking everywhere on this brush. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna take a different brush then because that one just has this one. Not bad. Good enough for me to use? Good enough for me to use. Better than the other one. And I'm just gonna take it. And see if I can kind of feather it out. I'm gonna... Maybe... A bit on that brush. There's not a ton of fallout, surprisingly. Hmm. Um, I'm 
going to color switch this and I'm going to kind of go into this lighter green here. Again, not a little bit more fallout, but again, not a lot. show you what that uh, the first shade was baked and this one is called grass so it's blending up pretty nicely actually I'm going to take I think actually I'm going to take this one which came in the Hurricane palette and I'm going to take the first shade that we used which I believe was baked. I'm just going to put it in the grease a bit more. going to I think I got them the brush switch. I'm going to go back into grass. going to, on this brush, which I just cleaned, take this shade, which has like, it's green with like gold metallic in it, which is haze. I'm just going to take it, brush, see how it forms on the brush, and up into here, let's clean it as well. Okay, color switch again. I'm going to take um, this brush, the one that came with the palette, and I'm going to take this like brown shade which is stoned it's a matte a kind of neutral medium brown a bit more greeny but i'm just going to pop it wait if you get fallout like that just do that 
I'm just going to pop it right in. If the angle's a bit different, I had to transfer files onto my computer. So, anyways, what I did was I put the darker shade in the corner and I kind of blended out with this fluffy brush a bit. So. And I'm gonna do the same on the other eye, I guess. Just like a little point in my eyelid. Shadows are really coming. So let's see, I'm going to take a mix of those two darker shades. I'm going to run them in there. Right underneath the brow. Just darken it. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. What shade is this? Stoned. Fitting. I am not stoned. <laughs> uh, I do use CBD, as I was saying. Permission from my doctor. This video might get demonetized, I don't know. YouTube's weird. Um, weed doesn't have a good reaction on me. So I don't use THC. I don't know. If you guys have any questions about drag, like this is supposed to be, like I'm supposed to be talking about drag shit and I'm just like talking about makeup because I literally don't have anything else to talk about with drag. Like, I... That's, that's a character? You're just gonna have to wait to see how she develops and shit, I guess? Yeah, I guess. Do you have like a bit of fallout? Where to put my brush? There it is. Okay, there's that. Um, I kind of want to do a cut crease to be honest. So for a cut crease, I would actually use the brush that I used to mix this one. Actually, no, I use this. Um, I use this brush. This is the brush that I used to, um, no, no, I'm using this brush. This is the eyeshadow brush 005 from Still Spa Essentials. It's just like really nice one. And this is what I use to do cut creases. I think I'm going to do like a half cut crease because there is that teal to blend nicely in everything else. I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on the back of my hand. I'm sorry if the angle has changed or whatever. Again, I had to transfer files onto my computer and I'm just going to take this, coat the brush in. That didn't work. So I'm just going to take it and apply it directly to the brush. That worked a lot better. Okay. And I'm just going to take it. I'm going to start here. I can't really talk while doing this because it involves a lot of tension. And that 
very good at doing cut creases. I'm gonna do another one. Kind of like so. I'm just gonna do that so I can get my full bid. And it goes up to kind of like about there. There. So that's kind of where the cut crease is. If that makes any sense. I hope it doesn't make sense. Concealer on it. My cut creases aren't perfect. I am kind of bringing it up more. I do kind of like that look since I have like pretty fitted eyes. Don't worry, I'm gonna like make it so it doesn't look actually insane. sense. I'm going to take a brush that I was contemplating. Using the thing on, and I'm going to take this, like the first shade that I swatched, the kind of like purple shade. This has a lot more flower on it. on the lid. Go around up just at the crease. It looks crazy right now, I know. Again, I haven't like used this eyeshadow before, so I don't really know what it's like.
use those even? Probably not. That's okay. I'm going to take the color switch. I'm going to go into this kind of like lavender y color here on the same brush that I used my color switch. By the way, the color switch is literally just like this, and you like rub your eyeshadow brush on it, and it gets rid of all of the old. I'm just going to go up here. About the glue at the top part of where. I want this to not be like a really, 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 really cut, cut crease, which I know you're probably thinking, like, what the fuck does a cut crease mean then? There's like different severities. Where the hell did I put? There it is. It's like different severities of cut creases, okay? It's like a lot darker than I wanted it to, but I'm not really mad. I'm gonna take this brush. I'm just gonna blend. I'm not mad. See, it looks like a matte, but it's kind of mixing with the shimmer shades underneath it. So it's giving it a bit of a shimmer. Which again, I'm not mad at. Okay. Take this, blend that in, and I'm just going to blend these. Take this one. I look crazy. on the same brush I use the color switch I'm going to take the teal shade from this one and I'm going to use that it has like a bit of gold reflex which I feel like would be a good transition from the two and I'm just going to do that That kind of like blends the lid and the outer part of it better. I do really like the steel shade. Looks really pretty, and I'm just gonna blend it up into there. It's starting to come together. It doesn't look as weird now. Okay, and I'm 
going to go back into this palette and I'm going to kind of take this dark foily green right in the center and I'm going to pack that outer portion just cut out a bit more dimension Okay, and I'm going to take this brush out, take a bit, get in that teal shade. First color that we did. Oh, reapply just to reinforce it. This brush use color switch. really supposed to use shimmers in the crease but I really don't give a shit I'm gonna take this brush oh I'm gonna take the brush that came with the palette and take the first green that we used again around that part I'm going to take this brush blend it I'm going to take the second green, which is a lighter green, take that back over. haven't really creased, which is nice. Um, I think for the underneath, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush, it came with the um, Rimmel um, one, and I'm going to take this kind of like pinky iridescent color it has like a bluey shift to it. I'm gonna take that up here. It's like a bit of like a goldy pink. So let me see if it looks good. The brow bone. I'm also going to take a bit of this like greeny gold here at the bottom. This is, this is losing a lot of brushes, like a lot of hairs. Oh yeah, it is losing a lot of hairs, like a lot of hairs. Just 
Jesus. Okay, I'm not gonna use this brush anymore. It's just falling apart. I don't know if you can see, but like, yeah, that's what I just pulled off of it. So I'm not using that. Um, I have this brush, which is a brush that I already had. I'm going to again take that shade, the gold shade there, which is called Puff. I'm going to kind of put that on top. Ooh, that's nice. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing, so you guys can critique me in the comments below. Blend, blend. Um, I want to take the uh, glitter, but I think I'm gonna apply it on my thing, like on my finger, because it's kind of like a gel. Ooh, that. This palette was a good decision to get. I love this. I'm kind of gonna put it like on the where I where we put like the teal shade on the outer portion of the cut crease. It's not per precise, but that's okay. I don't really mind. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really like that. Do I look like a hooker? That's okay. Because my drag character is a hooker anyway, so... I kind of look like I'm doing a little mermaid makeup, which I'm honestly kind of okay with because my cousin's name is Ariel and like jellyfish is a jellyfish, so like it kind of works. This is like super fucking pretty though. gonna keep saying oh that's so pretty this entire time I kind of want to use that like bronzy gold one too so I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna like pack it like right there just to add like a bit of like right where the purple meets Ooh, yeah like the pack it like over the purple sorry Eyes are watering. I have pretty sensitive eyes, so they're gonna water. So these like glitters are like toppers, which basically means that you put them on top of eyeshadows. Which I like. I like. I think they're pretty. Okay. Now for like the underside, I'm going to use that teal color that I really, really liked. And I'm going to use this brush. It's the one that we like packed it on with. I really like this color. I wish it had a name, but this was this palette we will have. Names. For their colors. See, yeah, that kind of like brought the entire thing together. I might add like a bit of glitter on it, to be honest. I got 
not that like gray in my eyes. gonna take um, in the same palette the blue shade that we used on the end and I'm going to put it right there just kind of like darken it and smoke it out a bit and I kind of want to bring shade down kind of there ish I'm gonna take the same teal shade right there this teal shade is like super pink not like really like oh my god it's big into it, but it's like pretty good for like a drugstore. Come on, you know. I'm gonna re-powder. I just hit myself in the face. I'm gonna re-powder after this. Um, I'm gonna take I kinda wanna do that. You know what, let's do this one. It's kind of like a more like whitey lilac color, but it has like a blue shift to it. Go put it right there. I use that as like an inner corner. That seems light enough. Might actually, okay. So for inner corner stuff, I'm going to use the setting spray that I got, which is the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. Sorry, my aunt is it watering. God, I'm really fucking... Actually, I'm going to take... I'm going to do this first. Oh. My. God. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see, but I got the concealer all... Okay, this is going in the wash. Okay, I'm gonna shake it and I'm going to take the purple that we just used and I'm going to take it on a brush and coat it. It's not like as intense as I really wanted it. So I might add another color on top. There we go. That was a bit of Aiku, I'm sorry. Take it, I might put another color on top. Yeah, I'm gonna take another color and put it on top. Okay. Color switch. I'm gonna take um this one from the same palette. It's a bit more of like a shimmery shimmer. It's a bit like kind of like a pinky gold, but not like rose gold. I don't know, it's weird, but it's nice. I like it. There we go. That's kind of what I wanted. Go. 
this brush and I'm going to take like the littlest bit of the glitter, like the green one. I'm going to put it right there. I'm kind of upset I don't have anywhere to go after all of this. There we go. I think that's the eyes done. So, those are the eyes. I'm going to repowder underneath. My nose is leaking. That is that. I'm going to repowder just like the tiniest bit underneath my eyes. Just to kind of like blend everything. An O2 Rose Doro. I might go into the conspiracy palette and use um, pigment. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I like to do. This is um, becoming well loved. Okay, I'm take my blush brush. Just kind of focus it kind of here. I don't want to go ham like I usually do. That's kind of all I want to do. Because the rose doro, like it's nice, but it's just a bit more orange compared to this, you know. Do that, blend that in. There we go. That's what I do for blush. Um, I know it looks like super intense. I'm gonna take, um, concealer is just getting all over the place and I have no idea why. Um, I'm just gonna take this and just go over it and diffuse it a bit. There we go, that looks a bit more sane. Okay, and I'm going to contour with so what I've been doing um is I think I'm gonna take a purple mixed with Tanacon because I've been mixing like um Tanacon with like different like darker colors to like do uh 
contour. I don't do like a load of contour. Like that's as much as I would really do for kind of like on the cheek. Like I really don't do a lot. Just because I just don't like to. I don't like how it looks on my face. Um. I'm gonna do it in the usual contour slash bronzer spots. from this palette because I like actually you know what I have a single eyeshadow this is Miss Jordana from the brand Jordana um, I found it at a liquidation place and it's honestly pretty nice and I've been using it for like contour with this color oh that was a lot there we go. I've been using it a bit as like contour just because it's a bit like more colored and I kind of like that. Like I know you guys are going to be like you look like you have bruises on your face but like that's kind of what I want you know. And this is an everyday makeup just so you know like I would never like wear this just like every day. My everyday makeup is usually no makeup. But I really like this as like kind of a contoury bronzery shade. I'm gonna go back in with pigment just because I lost a little blush there. There we go. Bring some life back. face and I'm going to go on a bit into Trisha I've been doing this for a while where I kind of like put it right where I want center pigment which is kind of like right there I'm going to put a bit on my nose. I love a blushy nose. Like you guys are gonna be like, you look like Rudolph, and I'm like, thank you. You know, that's what I want. There we go. I'm gonna put a bit. Blend them together like that. And I'm going to take um this brush with the single shadow shade that we used, and I'm gonna take literally just like the little is bit off of it and tap it off like a lot. Kind of contour this part of my nose. Like a bit, not like a super bunch. Just a bit. You know, just to chisel it out more, and I'm gonna kind of put a bit right on the 
with me in a bit right in the center right there just so it looks like it's like bigger yeah and I'm gonna do a more precise contour right in there and I'm going to like a little line just to, you know do that I guess whatever that is the line I'm going to go back in with Tanacon and just warm it up just a tiny bit more so it's looking a little too bruised. You know? You know? Um. I think next is High Light. Which is where another Jeffree Star product comes in. I have... The skin frost in mint condition, which is green, which I feel like goes with this look perfectly. And I'm going to take my highlighting brush, which is this one, and dip into it. And I'm going to do a base with oat. Oh. Uh, setting spray and then I'm gonna do setting Take this brush and just yeah. like that. And now I'm going to take my finger about to keep it's about like really private of like that I'm gonna do just so you know this is like what I would do for drag makeup not like what I would do for normal makeup because there's no way in how I'm going out in the day wearing this Take this blue shade on the same highlighting brush and take it and go over it just to add that extra glue, you know. And then I'm 
going to take a smaller brush. I'm just going to use this one because it's the only one I have left. Take on the brush right there. You know? Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of blend it out with my finger. Yeah, that's not for highlight. Uh, I don't really want to do my brows because they're kind of okay, but I will. Wasn't anything, but I'm done lashes. I have no idea if you saw that, but I'm going on to lips now. I'm going to be using maybe the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color in Wisteria, and I'm going to see what the Hard Candy Plumping Serum Lip Gloss in 1565 looks like. Because this is new. It's a thing I got today, so I want to see what it looks like. Okay, so it's sheer. It's sheer, as you can see. You can't really see. It has like a nice glitter. I think I'm gonna use this. Yeah. This is like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, just so you know. And I don't think they sell them anymore. They're so mad. It smells like cupcakes. Like, I don't know how to explain it other than it smells like cupcakes. Okay, so I finished it. I did use the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse, and then I did use this, and then I put in a bit, because I didn't really like how like the, lip, the other lip gloss was looking, so I put just a little bit of the um, CoverGirl Lip Lava in the um, Look It's Lava shade. I This is like my favorite lip gloss. Um, and then on top, I put the Teal shade in there. I'm getting a bit of a build up on the inside of my lip. So I'm gonna get rid of that just a moment. Okay. And I kind of um, faded out the lipstick so it's kind of like around, like it's not, sorry, so it's not like a harsh line, because I like that look, makes you look like you just drank a lot of juice, so, yeah, that's the completed makeup look, I hope you like it, I'll show you some, oh, it was on my teeth, I'm just gonna show you some beauty shots, because I have like a green skirt and a purple top that I'm gonna wear, so, yeah, I'll show you better. I just know what it looks like, but this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> 